In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite snatch variations. Quick note, this is not a video on how to do a snatch. If you're interested in how to do a snatch and how to do it pain-free, check out this video over here. I'll make sure to link up to it. But if you have your snatch down and you're kind of curious of like, are there other ways to do this move? That's what this video is all about. We're gonna break down seven, yes, seven different snatch variations plus a couple of fun little combo moves that you can add to your next kettlebell workout. And a lot of these can even be done with a dumbbell as well. So I'm not gonna keep you, just make sure to do me, well, two favors. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future episodes and make sure to hit that like button. It really does help this channel. There are a couple of little tips and cues that I wanna go over when it comes to snatches. When you are snatching, no matter what it is, you wanna make sure that you have a really powerful hip drive, you guys. I want you to think about pushing your feet to the ground. As you're going down into your hip hinge, soften the knees, and as you come up to explode, think about pushing your feet into the earth, locking your knees in to drive your hamstrings and make your glutes super tight up at the top. You wanna also make sure, again, no matter what the snatch is, here's my rectilinear snatch, AKA a power snatch, you're still really focusing on keeping that back nice and straight in a neutral position. That includes your neck as well. Make sure you're not rounding, make sure that you're driving through your feet, even when you're going from the ground. Now, slingshot, this is a very advanced snatch move where you're gonna be slingshotting it around your legs. One tip, think about going through the middle of your legs. Sometimes when you're going down and around, you're thinking about driving it at a diagonal. Do not do that. You're gonna go through the middle, reach behind, grab it, and then do a really nice and smooth pass over at around between belly button to chest. Alternating snatch. If you have a regular snatch, you're gonna be able to get an alternating snatch. This is the standard alternating kettlebell snatch where you are gonna be doing a swing in the middle with an extra hip hinge to switch off from one hand to the other before, again, driving your feet into the ground, being super powerful through your hamstrings, through your glutes. One thing that I really wanna point out is that when you are at the bottom of your hip hinge, notice that your hand is either in a neutral position with just your hand going straight down between your legs or leading with your thumb. Don't let your pinky drive down at the bottom of your hip hinge. Kneeling snatch, super fun. Most people have probably never done this before, but the same idea. Even though you're in a kneeling position, you're still hip hinging, driving your butt back to the wall behind you and coming up by driving through your hips to push your butt forward and tight as you explode up. Double snatches. My tip for this is if you need to, you might need to open your legs up a little bit wider, especially if you have narrow hips. Take a little bit of a wider stance so that you make sure that you actually have space to be able to bring both of the weights down. And from there, it's more of the mental game of saying, holy crap, I'm doing two instead of one. Lunge snatch. Yeah, this is as fun as it looks. As you are lunging back, you are driving your kettlebell up. So you want it to be nice and smooth. Of course, as you practice, you can at first practice just doing a snatch and then doing a lunge. And as you get more comfortable with that, start thinking about combining it. And yeah, I gotta take a break. <laughs> Deep breath. One of my favorite combo moves is a devil's press. And yes, they probably were created by the devil. And this is the double press where you are doing a burpee and finishing it off with a double snatch. Make sure you're keeping your core tight, especially on that push-up. You don't want your hips to fall down. You wanna make sure that your back stays nice and straight in the push-up position, just as if it's straight when you're doing the snatch. Other variation, if you don't have two kettlebells, is to do an alternating devil's press. Just alternate which side. Of course, you could do five on one side, five on the other, depending on what your workout calls for, or alternate side by side. This one's personally my favorite because you can go a little bit heavier than what I would do if I were doing double devil's presses, but you're still keeping your heart rate really up high, which is kind of the oh, main point really. of like that. <sighs> At least you know that I do these just in a row for you guys. Hopefully there's a variation or two or three, or maybe most of them that you've never seen or tried before. So my challenge to you is, you know, I always like to give a challenge at the end to add at least one variation into your next workout. Try doing three sets of 10 on each arm. Comment down below which one you're most excited for. And if you have any suggestions of exercises and variations that you would like to see in an upcoming video, don't hold back. I love freaking hearing from you guys. 
make sure hit the subscribe button hit that like button to this video let me know what you thought comment down below and then if you want to do more kettlebell workouts with me on the regular visit fitwomensweekly.com to learn more about my online studio fit women's weekly live we're freaking every day of the week monday through friday i hold a live workout that i would love for you to come and do with me if you can't make it live that's okay most of our our most of our ladies can't so we keep every single workout up for 30 days which means hundreds of videos within that time period because there are actually two live workout options every day that you can be a part of and stay up with your fitness not only keep up with your fitness but improve leaps and bounds so i will be back next week with a nutrition video don't forget if you missed out on last week's video on what day is it september 20th my plant smart eat real eight week nutrition coaching program kicks off and i would love for you to be a part of it i will link down below make sure to hold your spot because there's only room for a total of 15 people 15 why 15 because i want this to be about you this is not an automated program where you gain access and you just get to go through the course all on your own time this is actually a personalized program where you and i will talk together throughout the eight weeks so that by the time it's done you feel in control of your nutrition no more fads, no more looking for the next thing to help you hit your goals. This is it. Break free of diet culture. Learn how to truly fuel your body without guilt for the long run. Isn't that what it's all about? Let's stop overcomplicating nutrition, guys. <laughs> all right, so click below. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll be back next week.